I saw one blog describe it as LeBron again. You can read Chris Broussard on ESPN.com, and he does a great job covering the NBA. And, and Chris, it's interesting to me. Throughout this season, everybody seemed to come to a place where the belief was LeBron's going to get more money in Cleveland. He's, a, he's devoted to Akron. This is where he's going to stay. He's got one bad game in Game 5, and everyone loses their mind and decides he's gone. What are you thinking? What are you hearing? Well, before this series, I felt like everyone else that the heavy favorite were the, was the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, I think it's a three-team race, and the Cavaliers are one of these handful of teams with a chance at getting LeBron James. Cleveland, Chicago, and New York are the front runners for LeBron. We know why he would stay in Cleveland. Loyalty to the area he grew up with, and to his friends, to the team he's been with for seven years, to his teammates. Why would he go to Chicago? A nice young nucleus, Derrick Rose, Joe Kim Noah. Trade possibilities, because you got other talented players that might fetch another big name free agent in a sign and trade deal, or New York. That may depend on who he can convince or who is willing to go to New York with him. They can sign two max level free agents Will Chris Bosh go to New York with LeBron? Would Joe Johnson go to New York with LeBron? Who would New York surround those two players with? All these are the questions that need to be answered. Nobody knows them at this point. I don't even know if LeBron James does. And Chris, it is interesting because, look, everyone gets it. New York, New York, big city of dreams and all that. It's a city built on basketball. And if you could go there and become a, a, a title winner, you could be the king of New York, literally. But that roster right now is way worse than Cleveland's roster. So to your point, you'd have to have somebody that you knew was coming with you. Isn't that, as we stand here right now, isn't that a pretty big question mark? Oh, yes. I mean, and Dwayne Wade has said that all these guys have said they'll get together and talk and, and figure out who wants to go where and, and all these decisions will be made. But everything will depend on LeBron James. Do you think, is there a scenario in your mind where the big money guys, the Boshes, the Wades, and LeBrons get together over a dinner and say, how much do you need? How much do you need? Let's go one place and we'll take a little bit less because at the end of the day, Chris, money's king and you know that. Exactly. I don't see that happening. I see maybe two guys, maybe Bosh going to join Wade in Miami or Amari mm -hmm. Stoudemire going to join Wade in Miami or maybe Bosh and LeBron going to New York again. But no way do I see any of these guys taking less money just to play together. I, they know this is a business more than anything. Okay. And it's going to come down to, yes, where you can go to win, but it's also a business and it's about money. All right, a final thought, which, which we won't hold you to, because understand it's fluid. You said before the series started you thought Cleveland, and now, now your mind's changed just a little bit. If you had to put your own money on, on the table right now for where LeBron suits up next fall, where would it be? I think the two front runners are Cleveland and Chicago with New York, you know, a, a close, but, you know, second or third. Okay. You put a gun to my head, I'll say Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Because of because of the pieces they've got. They have great pieces in place. It's obviously a great city. LeBron's, you know, marketing and okay. endorsements, things like that. And again, Kirk Heinrich, Lou Aldang, Taj Gibson's players that other teams might want and take in a sign and trade for another big name, a Joe Johnson, a fun, fun quick wild card. Who would his coach be in Chicago? That could be if I'm if I'm Jerry Reinsdorf, uh -huh. the owner, I'm going trying to bring Phil Jackson back. Really? But if you can't get Phil Jackson, okay. then I think a Byron Scott is a possibility. All right. uh, and, you know, I, that those are some of the names that, that I could, could be out there. People are mentioning Look. John Calipari. Obviously, he and LeBron James are close. It will not be a situation from what I, I believe and, and have been told where LeBron would push for Calipari right. to coach, but they, they obviously get along and have a good relationship. I'm smiling across the way at Mash. He might have a thing or two to say about Coach Cal leaving Lexington to go to Chicago. <laughs> John Anderson and Jamal Mashburn in just a second, but first let's ask